Binge eating, especially at night, tends to be a problem that a lot of us who have tried to lose weight in the past have had. So if that is something that you're struggling with, I'm gonna give you five tips that are really gonna help you get out of that funk of binge eating and not losing weight. Coming up. What is up, Forfait family? Thank you for tuning in to the video today. If you were new around here and you found us through search, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because my only goal is to help you lose weight. I talk about weight loss and fat loss and that is it. So subscribe to the channel for more great content. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into the tips. Tip number one is your reason for binge eating in the first place is due to white knuckling, squeezing your fist and trying to be stronger than this thing that you're bound to lose to, which is a desire for these delicious foods. It is human nature and it is okay to want things like cake, ice cream, pizza, donuts, whatever it is, whatever your food of pleasure is. It is okay and understandable to want those things. It's whenever you take something that you love away and you white knuckle and you just try to bear all and eventually hope it'll go away, that's when the binging starts. And once it starts there, then other things take over like guilt and, and the cycle starts. But the original problem where binge eating originally starts is that you're not satisfied with your diet in the first place. So tip number one is to allow yourself to eat some of those foods. And so the tips that are after this is gonna help you teach you how to do that without going overboard. But that is the essence of binge eating and how to stop it is allow yourself to be happy. That is the key. You wouldn't be binging and the guilt wouldn't start if you were happy in the first place. So tip number two is food logging and planning in desired foods. And this makes sure that you don't fall off the plan in the first place if desired foods become a part of your plan and not daily, not all day and all the time, but if they do become a part of your plan and you practice this and control and portion, then you will start to eat these foods that normally you binge over, you'll feel satisfied, you'll never feel that desire to white knuckle and then eventually feel the guilt of falling because you've always been on your plan, you put it in MyFitnessPal or whatever logging app you use. Guilt is the central theme around binging. Once you binge and white knuckle, you lose to the willpower or you lose willpower to, to white knuckle anymore, then the guilt starts and that's whenever we use food to suppress some of that guilt and then it just makes it worse and that whole cycle starts. If we can stop the guilt in the first place via food logging so that you can see that what you ate wasn't that bad or you could control your portions and make it a part of your plan and realize, hey, I can stay on my plan and do this, then the guilt will never start. Let's say that nighttime comes around and you have and you've been food logging and you have like 400 calories left or something like that. Um, you know, those days aren't really frequent, but if you have 400 calories left and you're like, you know what, I've really been craving a donut and the donuts from the uh, Krispy Kreme are 190 calories for a glazed or I can have a really delicious one for 300 and something calories. And now I'm not saying that sounds a lot like flexible dieting. I'm not saying that you can just eat whatever you want and be willy nilly about it and lose weight. But there is gonna come times where you're gonna desire a craved food and it's gonna fit right into your plan. Why not make it a part of your plan so you never feel that desire for food, you never fall off the plan, you never feel that guilt, you stop the binging. Because if you binge and you feel guilty, then this starts that spiral that you're all too familiar with. And so if we can stop that in the first place, why not just enjoy something from time to time? And you know, it could be as often as every other day at first, and then you can practice on, on spanning that out. If you can fit that into your plan, then you may as well to prevent that guilt and that binging from ever starting. Tip number three is to increase your knowledge because you don't know enough about this situation or you wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. And so luckily you can do that right here. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I mean. First, your body doesn't have time to synthesize body fat. It takes time to synthesize body fat. It takes a long time to build that up and to put it onto your body. Imagine how long it took you to get to the place where you're at. It probably took many, many, many years in order to get to the place that you were at. I mean, usually a person will gain like 10 pounds, 20 pounds in a whole year. So you have time. One binge or one bad decision or one a series of bad decisions, your body isn't even gonna have time to add that body fat. So you have plenty of time to fix your mistakes if you can catch yourself, if you can even consider it a mistake in the first place. Number two on that is that understand that a pound of body fat is 3,500 calories without burning a single calorie 
on top of that. So let's say, I mean, you would have to go out and really mess up. You would have to eat 3,500 calories over your base. And that's if you didn't burn extra calories that day. So you would have to have like a 4,000, 5,000 calorie day to gain a pound of body fat. And even then, go back to the first thing I said, it takes time to make that. So if you get in the gym and you hop back on the plan, everything will be okay. And I know that's easier said than done, but you have to understand, you really have to mess up in order to add real body fat. What the scale is showing you, especially the next morning, is because of those increased calories, you are now gonna have naturally consumed more sodium, you're gonna have naturally consumed more carbs and calories, which calories and carbs act as a sponge, hold water, and therefore your water rate, your water weight is being reflected. So don't let that get to you. It really isn't body fat. And if you know that, then you can get past that and defeat it. So moving past tip number three, and there was those too many tips within that, is tip number four, and that is to have an accountability coach or a motivational partner of some sort. That could be a friend, it could also be a trainer. I'm an online personal trainer, which I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video about how to start training with me. But having a person tell you this, hearing it now on this video, you're gonna be all like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, I can do this. But whenever you go to tell yourself that, you're probably not gonna believe it. And so having that coach, having that trainer with you or a friend with you more often, but the trainer would be in your pocket with online training seven days a week. And so having that with you that often, whenever you do mess up, having someone say, hey, this is why this isn't so bad, can get you back on the horse multiple times a week. Or I guess you could just save this video and watch it several times. I'm good with that too. Last tip, tip number five, and this sounds like a cheesy one and it's not gonna help very much, but it is very, very true and it is that you will fail. Get ready for that, you're gonna fail. You're still gonna binge. You're not gonna watch this video and forever be done with binging if it is a problem that you've had in the past. But what you have to start doing is learning from your mistakes. Maybe consider starting a journal and figuring out what triggered my binge? How did it make me feel? How can I come up with solutions to get around that for next time? Learn from your mistakes. Don't just feel bad about it. And I know I've been there. I know how it feels and how it's easy to say and hard to do, but don't just sulk and feel bad and let the guilt cycle start. Figure out how to be better, learn from that experience. It's only one, you've done this a million times, one more isn't gonna hurt anything, especially if you use that to learn. Neither is two, three, four, or five, or six, or 10 more. You are going to learn from each of those and you will become better if you don't give up. You only truly fail when you quit. So make sure that you never quit this fight. You are fighting against this binging, but you will become better and better with each loss and eventually you will have victory, I promise. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on social media. On tip number four, I mentioned something about having a trainer in your pocket. With online personal training, which is what For Faith Fitness is, you are literally, you literally have access to a personal trainer in your pocket seven days a week with fully customized programs, exercise videos of each exercise, you have nutrition, weights, weigh-ins, and a person to turn to when the binging and the guilt starts in the first place. And so it's a really powerful thing. The first two weeks are free. I'll link that up into the description forfaithfitness.com to start your free two week trial just to give it a try and to see how it is. But even after that two week trial, it is so much more affordable than in-person training. It's about the cost of two personal training sessions a month. And so it is really, really doable to have someone with you all the time and to finally help you get past this bump that you've never been able to get over and get through that guilt cycle of binge eating. Thanks again for tuning in guys. Have a great rest of your day and God bless.